Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be talking about some things that can cause a misfire. It's a common question that people get, why is their car misfiring? So first we're going to look into the spark plugs and the ignition coils. So under this little panel here, if you have an overhead cam engine, is usually where you can find the ignition coils. I've already loosened up these bolts, so I'm just pulling them off here. So as you can see, by removing this cover out of the way, if it's an overhead cam engine, you'll see the ignition coils. So there's one for each spark plug. Uh, so these are very simple to remove. You just uh, push that clip and disconnect it and then pull the ig entire ignition coil out. So these are called coil packs or ignition coils. And so uh, basically the computer is telling this module when to fire. As you can see, the spark plug is at the other end of it. And so it's connected only by a little coil of wire in there. So that's why they'll call it an ignition coil. And so we'll tear this apart a little bit, but as you can see the spark plug here, uh, there's some uh, connection problems you could see happening with corrosion or anything like that that can cause the misfire or the pack itself can go bad just because it's part of the engine where it sees a lot of heat and sometimes they just wear out, usually about 60,000 miles. Now there's a rubber boot that uh, surrounds the coil, the ignition coil that you can see in here, and so you want to look for any tears in it because if it's splitting open, that's where the uh, electricity can arc and go into different places instead of onto the spark plug. So we'll pull this boot apart here just to show you. It's very simple. It just pulls off and you can buy new rubber boots if you want. But this is what the ignition coil looks like. And so again, the top part is firing and, uh, via when the computer is telling it from the firing order when to fire. And so that current goes through the coil here and uh, it's connected to the spark plug. So down here, this is just a rubber boot. There's nothing more to it, uh, but you do want to check it for any cracks um, where it can be causing um, the spark to arc and go in different places. So otherwise, this just pops back on. Uh, very simple there. And uh, again, about 50, 60,000 miles is about normal for these. Uh, something else to look at, uh, because engines, especially if you drive in the rain or whatnot, there's a lot of uh, water and condensation that can form in the coil or here on the very end of the spark plug. So uh, you can put some dielectric grease on this. You want to check for the porcelain itself for any cracks there. Uh, that can cause the plug to be fouling, and maybe you dropped the spark plug when installing it. Maybe it just cracked with heat and stress over time. And another thing to look at is the spark plug itself. You have the ground strap, which is the little arch uh, thing at the top, and then this part is the electrode, and so that is making the connection to the ground strap every time the spark plug fires. So you can see the gap or the distance between the electrode and the ground strap, and sometimes that gap widens over time. Sometimes with detonation, it can be uh, collapsed as well. And so uh, you want to just make sure that that gap is the proper uh, size. If it's too big or too small, it could cause problems. On supercharged cars, you usually will need to tighten that gap down. It's called gapping the plugs, and I have videos on that that I'll put in the video description. Um, and so uh, that could cause a misfire just from your boost pressure. And something else to pay attention to on this plug itself is that if you look at how gummed up it is from the car running rich, or it might be bright white from the car running lean and burning the plug, the plug itself can uh, be fouled up from too much carbon buildup or it can be destroyed from too much heat. So uh, looking at your plugs, you will may be able to tell what's going on in the engine, but definitely hurting the plug like that could be causing it to misfire. I also want to mention on the coil packs that you usually notice them going bad when you're at low RPM going up a hill with heavy load on the car, like overdrive up a hill, you'll notice the car start to jolt. That'll be one of the first telltale signs. And then of course under boost pressure, full RPM, the car could also jolt a little bit too. And, and uh, that's a telltale sign as well for uh, misfiring coil pack. Now on overhead valve engines or you know the uh, ones like you see in these GMs, uh, you'll notice that the spark plug comes into the side of the cylinder head instead of directly on top, and it will then follow an ignition lead to another coil pack. Okay, and very old vehicles actually have a cap and rotor where each of those ignition leads will go to a cap that's telling it when to fire. Um, but anyway, uh, something else to look at are the crank position sensors and the camshaft position sensors. So here's one that goes into the crankshaft, and I'll put videos to this in the description as well. But as you can see, all this is is a magnetic um, sensor, 
and it's uh, taking readings off of a little reluctor wheel that's behind the crankshaft. That's part of the crankshaft, actually, on the front of the crankshaft. And so as the crankshaft spins, it will tell uh, the computer where the position of the crankshaft is and that helps with the firing order and everything so you want to make sure that this sensor is clean uh, because if it's uh, gummed up um, being that it's magnetic sometimes it picks up a lot of uh, uh, shreds and pieces of metal if that's fouling up it won't know the position of the crankshaft and it will not know the firing position and order for the engine so that can cause a misfire here's what it looks like the reluctor uh, ring with the timing cover off as you can see the reluctor wheel is just a plate and it has little teeth on it that it's measuring Now there's also a very similar sensor called the camshaft position sensor and so it's following by the same token it's following a reluctor wheel and deciding and knowing where the camshaft is in relation and so if this sensor is bad or clogged um, same thing it's magnetic uh, then that it won't know uh, when to fire and it could cause a misfire as well another thing that i had was a uh, bad or a dirty mass airflow meter so this measures how much air is going through your engine and again these are all videos i have i'll put it in the description so you can watch each one individually but as uh, this sensor measures the airflow it's going to change trim levels and um, tell the computer how much air and fuel the engine is going to need so you could imagine that if this is gummed up or dirty that the car could misfire not knowing how much fuel it's supposed to be adding uh, oxygen sensors especially the front upstream ones uh, can also cause a misfire I had a really bad misfire happening with my Mach 1 at one point and I changed everything because I was getting a code that it was running rich and I went through injectors and all these sensors I've already talked about just to find out it was a bad front O2 sensor giving a false reading so that's something that you can definitely check as well now sometimes you're lucky enough to get an engine code which happened to my father-in-law the other day and his was telling us a number three cylinder misfire was happening and as we started looking into it you can see all this corrosion and buildup that happened and so probably just cleaning this out is going to help a lot with that one because this one only had about 39,000 miles on it but it could be the coil pack so we vacuumed it out we used compressed air to kind of get it out and uh, you can see how clean it is in there now and the same thing applied for the coil pack itself as we showed you you can get corrosion on or inside of the coil and if you look down in here you can see that buildup that's sur surrounded inside the coil so you could disassemble this we just uh, broke it up with a screwdriver and as we tapped it out you can see all the garbage and junk that came out of it and so that could definitely cause the misfire that uh, they got uh, in their case so uh, at any rate I have a lot of videos that I can share just check the video description uh, for other ones like this and uh, hopefully this video helps you if you're having a misfire and check a lot of these things check for sensors that are bad or dirty or um, spark plugs that may be damaged and I like to move one coil pack to another cylinder and if you swap them and then you get an engine code for the other cylinder then you know that it's following that coil pack and you have a bad coil pack so anyway uh, if you have any questions let me know and let me know what other things you might do uh, when diagnosing misfires thanks guys